Hello, my name is Bernie Zukowski, and I'm with the ArcGIS online team here in Redlands, California. Today I'd like to welcome you to the seminar titled An Introduction to ArcGIS Online. In the seminar, we'll cover what ArcGIS Online is and how you can use it. We'll also talk about what ArcGIS Online includes and why you may be interested in it. We'll also have a demonstration that shows using ArcGIS Online in your ArcGIS desktop. ArcGIS Online is the newest ESRI product family. It joins the desktop, server, and mobile product families. It's a collection of online GIS services, which include 2D and 3D maps and globes, layers, and functional services, which we call tasks. All of these online GIS services are hosted by ESRI and are available to you whenever you're connected and online. ArcGIS Online can be easily used because it's offered in pre-published documents. For example, MXD files, which you can open up directly in ArcMap, 3DD files, which you can open in ArcLobe, published map files for ArcReader, as well as NMF files for ArcGIS Explorer. Layer files are also available for you to use in ArcMap, and the individual ArcGIS Online services which have been used to author these maps can also be connected to directly and used as building blocks to create your own custom maps. ArcGIS Online includes many terabytes of information, including world satellite imagery, one meter resolution imagery for the United States, worldwide streets with more detailed streets in the United States and North America, shaded relief maps, physical maps, topographic maps, and much, much more. The advantages of ArcGIS Online is that it's ready for you to use in your ArcGIS desktop. It provides seamless content that's multi-resolution. The published maps have been cartographically designed, and there's no need for you to maintain or update large amounts of data, and there's no storage or infrastructure requirements. Best of all, it's free for ArcGIS desktop users and can represent the foundation for many of your GIS activities. Let's take a closer look by visiting the ArcGIS Online website at arcgisonline.esri.com. From the website, I can learn more about ArcGIS Online and how to use it. There's a Getting Started topic, which explains how ArcGIS Online services can be consumed in a variety of applications and in a variety of ways. If I want to learn more about the content that's available, I can choose to look at the metadata through the directory of maps and globes. These show all of the different globes and maps which are available, and when I choose one of these, I can learn more about it. I can also look at the individual services which have been used to author this map or globe, and I can look at more detailed metadata for each of them including when this content might be updated. But getting started is very easy. All I need to do is look at the ready-to-use documents. These are the documents which are available in ArcGIS Desktop. As I scroll down, I will see the ArcMap documents, which are available as MXD files. I can just right-click and choose Save As save these to my desktop and open them up in ArcMap. As I scroll down further, I'll see ArcGlobe documents published as 3DD files, and I use those the same way. I also have some layer files, which I'll use in just a moment. And further down, I have ArcReader documents or published map files, which I can open up directly in ArcReader. In addition, in a separate section, we have ArcGIS Explorer maps. 
This is the ArcGIS Explorer Resource Center, which is also part of the ArcGIS Explorer application. To use any of these globes, I simply double click and they will open up automatically in ArcGIS Explorer. Now let's begin using ArcGIS Desktop. Here I've started a session in ArcMap, and I've added some parcel information showing land use for lots in the city of Bend, Oregon. Now my challenge is, how do I add additional content which will make this information more meaningful? And to do that, I can leverage ArcGIS Online. In this case, I'm going to navigate to where I have the layer files, and I've already right-clicked and saved a couple of these layer files to my desktop. Now from my desktop, I can simply drag and drop those layer files onto my map. And just like any other layer, they will project on the fly and become part of my ArcMap session. You can see I've added some high-resolution imagery for this part of the city. I've also saved another layer file. This is the street map layer, and I can drag and drop that onto my map, and you see it projects on the fly. And like any other layer, I can use other tools in ArcMap to create my final map. For example, I can choose street maps, and I can adjust the transparency to look at those two services and my local content together. Or I can use the swipe tool and slice back and forth between the underlying imagery and the street map on top. So these are some of the ways that I can use these pre-published layers directly in ArcMap. But another thing that I can do that I mentioned earlier is I can connect to and use the individual services directly. To do that, I'm going to go back to the main ArcGIS online webpage. And if I scroll to the right, I will see an area where I can register to participate in the beta program. Now these are beta because some of the content is still evolving and they're not yet ready at their final resolution. To access individual layers, I need to register for the beta program. To access the pre-published globes, maps, and layers, I don't need to register at all. And I'm going to go ahead and go through the registration process and show you how you can get the connection information that you need to correct, connect directly from your ArcMap session. You'll need an ESRI global account, but these are free and anyone can get one. Now log in to my ESRI global account. And now that I've done so, I will receive an email which gives me some details, but this is the connection information that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and, and copy that. And in my ArcMap session, I'm going to go back and I'm going to connect to a GIS server. In this case, I want to add a GIS server. I want to add the ArcGIS Online GIS services. And I step through the wizard. I type in the URL that I've copied from that website. Let me go back and get my uh, username and password. And my password was beta, and now uh, I'm finished. Using this connection information, I am now uh, able to connect directly to the ArcGIS Online services. And once I open up the directory, I say I have lots of different layers that I can choose from, and because I'm in ArcMap, I'm seeing the 2D layers that are available. In this case, I'll choose the National Geographic Topographic Service, and I'll add it to my ArcMap session. And there's my topographic map on top of my streets and on top of my imagery. 
So I've, hope, I've shown you how easy it is to use ArcGIS Online as the foundational building blocks for your ArcGIS activities. For more information about ArcGIS Online, visit the ArcGIS Online website at arcgisonline.esri.com or click the What's Next link on the left side of your browser. Your comments help us improve our seminars. Please take a moment to complete our survey. Just click the Evaluation link to take the survey. On behalf of ESRI, I would like to thank you for attending this seminar on Getting Started with ArcGIS Online.